Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you to create this spinning in and out text effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a new text layer. So I'm going to grab my type tool, go to my program window, and type whatever I want. So this could work cool with numbers or dates. So you could pick a year, for example, or really it doesn't matter. You could write text. You could use um, names and letters as well. And I'm going to go to the Essential Graphics panel. And in here, I'm just going to center and align this vertically and horizontally and make it big enough for the size that I want. Here's where you can also choose the font and the style and the color and all of that. So I'll just leave it at this for now, just for this example. And the next thing I'm going to do on this clip is first put it where I want. So in my case, the very beginning of the project. And for the effects panel, I want to actually add an effect on here called offset. So this is in the distort video effects folder. And I can click and drag it onto this text graphic layer. Now in the effect controls panel, you can see this offset effect is now added. And the offset effect allows you to shift the center of the clip either horizontally on the x-axis or vertically on the y-axis. And you'll notice if you go over the edge, it simply just kind of loops. And that's what we're going to use to create this cool animation. So if you ever want to reset, you can click this reset parameter button. And I'll go to the very first portion of the clip. I'll add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon to toggle animation on. And I'll start the clip I'll actually take this keyframe that gets made where I want the clip to be by default. I'll move it over a little bit and I'll start the clip on just a crazy amount of higher rotation. So I'll actually type in, I think the max you can do is 32,000 something. So I'm going to use that because I want it to seem like it's flying in. And then by the, by a couple seconds in, it'll look like that. Another thing I can do is right click on that and ease in that second keyframe so it kind of sits in. Now depending on how spaced apart your clip is or not, you might need to play around with these so you can really get the feeling of that fast motion. Because if it's too fast, it almost might not look like it's spinning at all. Um, an analogy is like if you ever look at a, a tire on a car spinning, sometimes it doesn't look like it's spinning because it's going so fast. You can change the amount if it's too strong or not fast enough of a time. Then the next thing we're going to do is add a motion blur. So there's actually a couple ways you can do this, but you can just do it in the Gaussian blur or directional blur section. That's in the blur and sharpen video effects folder. Now I'm going to click and drag this onto the clip as well. And I'm also just going to add two keyframes for this. So here in the Gaussian blur section, I'm going to add a toggle animation for, for blurriness. And I'm going to change it in this case to just horizontal because that's the direction we did. And I'm going to increase the blurriness a large amount to start. So it kind of, you can't even see it at first. And then I'm going to go over and I can actually click these arrow keys to go to the next keyframe. So just so they're at the exact same spot. And then I'm going to reduce the blurriness to zero. So what we've done is we've made it go from spinning and blurry to not blurry and stationary. So if I play that back, I can kind of see what it looks like. In this case, maybe a little too fast, a little too harsh, but in that case, I would just decrease the strength of some of these effects and maybe space things out differently. But you can kind of see it looks like it's spinning into place. And if you wanted it to animate out the same way, you could simply just copy these keyframes. So Command C, Command V, and just flip the order of them at the end. So I'll just flip the order to be the other way. And then sometimes it does get a little bit hard to preview. You see this red line here. That's when you can just create an in point I and an out point with O and go to sequence render in to out. It'll render a little preview quickly for you so you can watch it back smoothly and see what your edit actually looks like. So that's it animating in and animating out. And if you want to do the same thing vertically, you can do that as well. So instead of shifting the center horizontally, you could just add Y keyframes and vertical blur. So not only can you try this on text, it can be a cool idea for video clips as well. And I've actually made transitions using this as well, if you want to check them out in another tutorial on my channel. 
My name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can subscribe to stay tuned for a bunch more and check out more on the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.